okay so now in this video we will add the ammo box as well so we will add the ammo box let's just for testing purposes let's add the ammo box right in here as well on the table or maybe on the bed right there so what we can do we can duplicate that change this to ammo box and then delete that from there let's add the oops let's add the ammo box and let's now move the ammo box there click on prefab unpack completely we have the ammo box now let's remove that okay we have everything set up the drag and drop the animator it has the avatar and the animation it has the sound of a health so let's change this with the ammo pickup and also let's change the script actually remove that script from there and we will create another script for this so in the scripts let's create a new c sharp script by the name of ammo boost and now click on the ammo add that script up there open this up and now in here we will do the same as we did for the health but we will change some few things for example this to ammo boost and our ammo variables are on the rifle script so we will call the rifle script we will make a reference to the rifle script and then right here we want to change this to mag2 give and we will give a total number of 15 magazines the radius will be the same just change the variables everything else will be the same but we need to change this from a rifle from player to rifle okay so when we have the rifle then we can pick up the ammo after that when we press the up button we want to play this animation and then we want to update the rifle magazine to the mag to give and then we want to play the ammo boost sound and then we want to delete that after 1.5 second and that will be it let's save this get back to the rifle and let's see the magazine here it is an integer okay so now we need to make this as integer as well else it will give out an error so after making that integer now save it and as you can see we have the rifle script right here let's attach the here's the player right here okay let's attach the rifle right here try and drop the rifle script we need to add the sounds so and a pickup then the player audio source and the animator will be the same that's it save it now let's play the game let's pick up the rifle okay let's shoot some bullets okay now we have nine magazines and ammo 30 so let's pick up the magazines actually okay if we have pick up the health and the magazine as well now if you shoot you will notice that now we have the total number of magazines 15 okay so it gives us the magazines now so it means that now our health and our ammo is now working now let's add this in our map wherever we want so make a prefab out of both of these okay and then what we can do 
we can actually create an empty game object by the name of ammo health and then in here drag and drop it okay now we can duplicate them and move these other two to somewhere else okay for example when we find out the what they call when we found out the when we find the hostages in that home we want to place this okay we are getting closer let's put them in there let's select both of them so let's move them up to the second floor right here Okay, let's move them there and make a distance between them. Now let's select this one as well and make some distance. Okay. Now we can actually Go in the other scenes, for example, right here we have now this zombie land. Right here, create an empty game object by the name of health ammo. Go in prefabs, and actually, let's remove that. Let me try some brick. And let's see if that will work or not. Let me see this again. Right here we have this. So in prefabs, okay, right down below in this prefabs, let's add that. Okay, leave this as it is. Now let's open up the other scene. And let's add this one right here as well. Now, as you can see, it is being added to the same places in which we have added in the previous scene. Okay, as you can see. Now, let's do the same for the other scene. Okay, let's open up the scene two. Okay, we have the scene to open now in prefabs. We have this whole prefab of the ammo boxes and the health. So at that time, as you can see, it has been added in the same place. Because uh, these scenes are similar, we just only change the player in it. Okay. So guys, now we have a fully functional game in which we can shoot the zombies. The zombies can shoot us, and also we can pick up rifles we can pick up ammo health and also we have a system where we spawn enemies we have the beautiful menus and actually we have completed all of the game which we showed in the product video okay and let me tell you again that if you want to add a spawn point in somewhere else for example right here or if that cat then you can just simply duplicate this danger zone and add it somewhere else and choose a different spawn point. I have explained this when we were working on these two. Okay, as you can see, this is danger zone one day and then spawn point one. You can create a danger zone two and spawn point two as well, wherever you want. So now our whole game is completed and let's end this video right here.